Hello everyone, it's Ben with Bathroom Brews MTG. Today, we're diving into one of the most requested decks from our viewers, Animar Artifact Creature Storm. This 3-mana 1-1 elemental packs a punch with protection from black and white, and a powerful ability that puts a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Animar every time you cast a creature spell. The best part? Creature spells you cast cost 1 generic mana less to cast for each plus 1 plus 1 counter on Animar. So the strategy for this deck is pretty simple. We'll play a ton of artifact creatures to reduce their cost to zero, then use a variety of win cons to close out the game. It's proof that magic isn't pay to win, and with the right strategy and deck building, you can dominate the competition without breaking the bank. Before we get started, please hit that like button. It only takes a second and it really helps out the channel. And let me know in the comments what deck you want to see next. Without further ado, let's dive into Animar Artifact Creature Storm and see what this deck is truly capable of. Ramp is pretty basic, it's creature based. Seeing as we have over 50 creatures in the deck, the combo is focused on creatures and I didn't want to waste valuable spots on Rampant Growths or Farseek. The only bit of non-creature ramp is actually Arcane Signet, not even a Soul Ring in this list. The only piece of ramp I want to discuss is Mira, Scholar of Antiquity. She's a 3 mana 3-3 three, three Gruul Elf Artificer, which says you can tap an untapped non-token artifact you control to add a green mana to your mana pool and tapped two untapped non-token artifacts you control to exile the top card of your library, you may play it this turn. The ability is what's tapping the artifacts, so even if a creature is summoning sick, we can use it to add green mana. This is essentially a budget Urza for our deck. It lets us ramp or pay for colored mana with this ability, and then dig deeper to find the combo pieces we need, acting as pseudo card draw. For our actual card draw, I wanted to make sure it was both repeatable and on creatures. Some of the best ones in the deck are Canoptic Spider, a 5 mana 4-4 four, four with fly that has whenever another non-token artifact creature or vehicle enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. We have the infamous Joyra Weatherlight Captain, a 4 mana 3-3 three, three who lets us draw a card whenever we cast a historic spell. And finally we have Paradoxical Outcome, a 4 mana instant that says, return any number of target non-land, non-token permanents you control to their owner's hands, draw a card for each card returned to your hand this way. If Animar has enough counters on him, we can return all of our artifact creatures to our hand, draw that many cards, and then replay everything for free, hopefully drawing even more cards and getting into our combo. One of the cards I also included to help filter our draws is Abundance. This 4-mana enchantment says when we draw a card, we pick land or non-land, reveal cards until we reveal a card of the chosen type and put it into our hand, the rest go on the bottom of our library in a random order. With all the card draw we have in the deck, this will make sure we hit gas as often as possible to keep comboing off. As for actually winning with the deck, we do have a couple ways. The primary win condition or primary card we're going to use in this deck is Ancestral Statue. This 4 mana 3-4 golem says, when it enters the battlefield, return a non-land permanent you control to its owner's hand. Since it can target itself with this ability, if Anmar has enough counters on it, we just keep casting this an infinite number of times. So in conjunction with Impact Tremors, Woody Roastmaster, or Reckless Fireweaver, we'll win the game on the spot. Same thing is true if we have many of our card draw creatures out, so we'll just draw the entire deck. And the final win condition is Aetherflux Reservoir, a 4 mana artifact that says, whenever we cast a spell, we gain 1 life for each spell we've cast this turn, and then we can pay 50 life to deal 50 damage to target creature or player. Since Ancestral Statue is one of the key pieces to the deck and Aetherflux Reservoir, we need ways to get them out of the library. Fabricate is a 3 mana sorcery that lets us get any artifact from our library into our hand. Neoform is a 2 mana sorcery that makes us sacrifice a creature as an additional cost to cast it. Then we search our library for a creature card with a mana value equal to the mana value of the sacrificed creature plus 1, put it onto the battlefield with an additional plus 1 plus 1 counter. And finally, Koldotha Forge Master, a 5 mana creature that we can tap sacrifice three artifacts to put an artifact card from our library onto the battlefield. If any or all of our combo pieces get removed, we will have to win through other methods. Most often this will just be attacking with creatures. We have Steel Overseer, a 2 mana 1-1 one, one that we can tap to put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on each artifact creature we control. Patchwork Automaton, a 2 mana 1-1 one, one with Ward 2 that gets a plus 1 plus 1 counter whenever we cast an artifact spell. Psy Master Thopterist, which will give us a massive army of 1-1 flyers to swing in with, or Sharding Sphinx, a flying 4-4 four, four for 6, which will give us a 1-1 blue Thopter token whenever an artifact creature we control deals combat damage to a player. And to close out this video, I would like to share a little poem about the deck. 
generated from Architect.com. A beast of elements, Animar reigns, with sharding sphinx by its side. Creatures born from its shimmering veins, their power no longer to hide. Impact tremors make enemies quiver, and Fabricate brings out the best. Koldotha Forge Master, a master giver, and Shivan Reef puts it to the test. The dragons, the replicants, the creatures galore, each with a roll, each with a spark. Their strength together is something to adore. A mighty force, even in the dark, transcending space, leaving foes in awe as Animar's abilities arise. This deck, a true wonder, without a flaw, a sight to behold to our surprise. And with that, thanks for watching. As always, I'll have a link to the deck in the video description below. Special shout out to my patrons shown on screen here. If you'd like to join them in supporting the channel, you can find a link to it in the video description below. Otherwise, just give this video a like and leave a comment. It's free to do, and it always helps. Also, check out the Commander's Herald. I've been writing articles for them. I'll have one coming out next week, so just be on the lookout for that in the accompanying video. As always, this has been Ben with Bathroom Brews MTG, and remember, always wash your hands.